Hello everyone, welcome back to your YouTube channel AgriEdit. So in this video, I am going to give you a complete information regarding what are the different steps for attending the mop-up round, who is eligible for this mop-up round and like what are the different steps after getting the seats in the fourth round. There are so many queries from the students, I will be clarifying each and every query in this video. So stick with me until the end of the video and get all your queries sorted. Okay. First thing, the this today is the allotment of fourth round. You might have already received if you have uh, opened the portal and if you are given for the upgradation, you might be seeing your results now from 21st of October. And this process will complete on 24th of October, where you have to pay the seat acceptance fees, the final step. And next, the by 28th, the mob up round will begin, where you will be given with the fresh choices, right? So now the doubts are too many. Like I will just address each on each one of them now. For example, like the students are asking like who is eligible for the mob up round if they have been allotted to some university or the institute in the any of their four, th four rounds whether they are eligible or not. And also the students are asking when they will uh, the refund will be provided if they are cancelling the admission. So let me just uh, quickly take you to the admission portal. So here you can see if you are if you have given for the upgradation in any of the previous rounds after paying the seat acceptance fees or if you have not got any seats till fourth round or if you have got the seat in the only in this round fourth round or third category might be like even after attending the complete four rounds you might not be allotted to any of the universities so these are the three different conditions so if the condition is first and second by giving the upgradation or you have been allotted to the fresh seat so you'll be getting the allotment letter here right after getting allotment letter you do you have two different options one is either to accept or the fees the admission or to cancel or withdraw the admission so th these are the two options that you people will be getting if you have been allotted to any university or the institute in this fourth round right so first question is like if i click on the cancel whether i am eligible to the counseling uh, whether i will be eligible for the mop up round or not the second question is if i click on this when i will be getting the refund for the refund uh, let me clarify this so you you have paid 10000 rupees right so but for the refund you will be getting only 9000 and the duration of this refund will be approx 4 to 5 months and where you will be getting it in the same payment mode from through which you have paid the fees okay so this is the one thing other thing is whether the students who are clicking on this cancel or withdraw admission they are eligible for the mop up round or not so this is the second question so it it is it is bit complex let me just uh, simplify it so let us just see the rules of the mob up round first thing is whenever a student attends the mob up round there is no option of upgradation like we have this upgradation option in the first three rounds of icr counseling similarly like we do not have anything like that called as upgradation in the mob up round it is a single round next in the mob up round there is no option of withdrawal or cancellation just same like you will be able, you are able to see it in this starting four rounds so there is only there is no such option of withdrawal or cancellation after paying the seat acceptance fees so before seat ex, um, paying the seat acceptance fees you can do anything but after paying the seat acceptance fees there is no choice like there is no option that you will be getting the refund if you are not taking the seat so the 10,000 that which you are going to pay is gone if you are not taking the seat in the mop up round so this is the second condition and uh, the third, uh, this is obvious that who has secured zero or negative, they are not eligible for any of the rounds and including the mop-up round. And uh, students who have been allotted in the first four rounds, but because of uh, uh, any reason, like if, if their admission is cancelled, even these students or those students are not eligible to attend the mop-up round. Okay. And uh, then who is eligible to attend the mop-up round? This is the biggest question mark. So who can attend the mop up round? So like, let me just clarify this. So students, whether you have attended the counseling or not, first category is you have not attended the ICR counseling itself. Then you are eligible for this mop up round. You can directly go on 28th when the portal is open, uh, pay the 500 rupees fees and attend the mop up counseling. So this is the first thing. Second category of students who have been already registered for the first four rounds and they have given the done the choice filling like after paying the registration fees and also. Uh, they have entered the ICR counseling. In this, in the first case, if you have not been allotted to any of the universities in the four rounds, then you are eligible for the mob up round. And while going for the mob up round, you need not to pay the 500 rupees again since you, you had already paid in your ICR counseling. So, this is the first case. In the second case, if you have paid the registration fee 
and you have done the choice filling and you have got the seat in the any of the rounds of the icr counseling including first second third and fourth but you have not uploaded the documents nor you have done the seat paid the seat acceptance fee in this case you will be eligible to attend the mop up round okay so the basic thing is if you are not like if you have not yet paid the seat acceptance fees in the any of the four rounds in the icr counseling then you will be eligible to attend the mop up round but in any case if you have already paid the seat acceptance fees of 10000 rupees in any of these four rounds then you are not eligible for attending the mop up round this is as simple as it is okay i hope like this doubt is clear now like who can attend the mop up round only students who have not registered for the icr counseling they can attend the mop up round and the next category of students who have not allotted to any of the institutes or the agriculture universities through this icr counseling they can attend the third category even if you have allotted to any of the universities you have not completed the step of the seat acceptance fee then you will be eligible to attend the mop up round other than these categories no one is no other students will be eligible for attending the mop up round and next comes like how to do the choice filling whether the choice filling that is made for the icr counseling will be there for the mop up round or not this is the next question so for this question whatever choice filling that you have done in any of the rounds that is not applicable there okay in the mop up round you will be getting a fresh choice filling based on number of vacant seats as you can clearly see in the revised schedule you will be getting to see that seat like seat vacancy matrix like again in the mop up round what are the vacant seats in the different universities for the different departments will be freshly displayed so you have to check it and then you have to do the fresh choice filling for the mop up round so after this once you've been allotted to the start of counseling seat allotment that is a 4th of november when you get the seat in any agriculture universities then you have two options either to quit it or you have to pay the seat acceptance fees and go for the admission see in this step if you are not interested to go for the admission then do not pay the seat acceptance fees here because it won't be refunded if you cancel the admission because there is no option of cancelling the admission if you pay the seat acceptance fees in the mop up round so there are only two options either quit there or just pay the seat acceptance fees and go for the admission i hope like the rules for the mop up round is clear if the things are not even clear you can just read this complete document which is the icr counseling brochure so this particular page you can read it fully to understand thoroughly like what i have explained in any case if you have any other doubts you can always uh, comment on this video i will be definitely watching the comments and i will be answering them immediately so this is regarding the mop up round next the question is like what after the seat allotment in the fourth round so what should i do after the seat allot getting the seat allotment when the physical verification process will be called for us just to inform you all see if you are already getting the seat allotment letter here from any of the agriculture universities then you do not wait for the physical verification notice because many a times many universities do not provide it okay they will only provide it one time then they have already done it and the students who have uh, freezed their seat they are already in the campus in the most many campus they are already went for the physical verification so now you have to voluntarily take the allotment letter and just collect what are the other documents that the institute is asking and compile them and you have to go by yourself and do the physical verification and attend the classes along with the other batchmates who have or who are already in the campus so this is the process and in the ira also since the orientation program is already started i would uh, request you all do not wait for the physical verification notice i guess like there there will be no such notice that will be released for the students uh, who have got the seat in the fourth round because already one time they have already released now you have to simply take the allotment letter and just to prepare all other documents which are necessary and go for the physical verification and attend the orientation with the other students and this is also same for the other agriculture universities if the student if for the students who like who have frozen their frozen their seat for them if they have already called to the campus then you have, you also should go to the campus with this allotment letter once the allotment letter is with you it means that you have admitted to that university then everything else will be in the hand of university only the icr will not be able to do anything in that and they won't be releasing any notice so it's up to the university now so make sure that you just uh, take the allotment letter and go to the respective universities and get the admission and uh, any other than these things next question is sir i got a seat in my uh, icr counseling but i am not interested to go there and also i am not eligible for the mop up round then what to do like how can i get a seat is there any chance 
that I can get a seat uh, without going the mop-up round. So there is one more option where the like different universities will release their own counseling like left for the leftover seats to fill the leftover seats in the different universities and the institutes they will be calling their own counseling after the finish of the mob round it is basically for the deemed universities and where there is no state admission right like for example in karnataka like they have other uh, other than icr exam they also have their state entrance and if they have the state entrance then all other seats which are not filled by the icr will be transferred to the state counseling and students who attend the state counseling they will be getting the seat but other than this like for the deemed universities and for the universities where there is no such state counseling all the leftover seats where the icr students like students who have attended the icr counseling they are not taking the seats all those seats will be in the university round university or the institute round where they will be calling separately and for this separate counseling there is no such rules anyone can attend this counseling no matter whether you attended the icr counseling or not so you can wait for that and you can try if there are any vacancies in any universities you can definitely get the admission okay i hope like i have clarified all your doubts uh, which was asked in my whatsapp so if you have any other queries related to the icr counseling 2024 for the pg students you can just comment on this video we'll definitely try to solve each and every query i hope this uh, video is informative so subscribe our youtube channel for all the further updates regarding the icr counseling thank you